Hello beer drinkers, I'm Bobby Covina and we're here at the sneak peek of the Carl Strauss Tasting Room and Beer Gardens in Pacific Beach and I'm holding a bottle of the Rec Alley Imperial Stout which is brewed with nibs of chocolate and Ethiopian coffee beans and also their Boardwalk Black Rye IPA. So we're going to meet with Melody Diversa, their marketing coordinator, and also Paul Segura, their head brewmaster. And this is actually the site of your original brewing facility, correct? Uh, we had one location before this, but we've been in this building since 1996. And if you look around, you can see it's a little bit quirky. It's a converted greenhouse. So we got kind of creative with the space. Our bottling line is two stories to make it fit. And when you walk inside, originally, you know, being a production facility, a lot of tanks back there, we weren't really accounting for people wanting to tour that space. But now with craft beer tourism on the rise, you know, people want to see where the beer is made. So we've had to do a lot of work to make the tasting room open. All right. Well, tell us a little bit about where it's going to be done. You know? Yeah, cool. So right now we're standing in what will be the beer garden. So when people come here, they're actually going to walk to the side of the building, walk straight into the new open space. It's going to have a custom built concrete bar with 20 taps. We're going to have specialty beers, a beer engine on. Uh, we're going to have beer to go for the first time. You can come here and grab a keg, get some cases. Right. Uh, we're really excited about that. Uh, we're going to have a special area for a barrel aging. We're going to have a huge communal table that's custom built. People can sit there and watch the bottling line go, watch the brewery. Building a whole new tasting lab. It's going to be cased in glass. People can see Sean doing his mad scientist stuff back there. Uh, so we're really excited about the space. When you walk out to the beer garden, you know, we're going to have some new custom built uh, tables out here. We're going to have access up the hill to a food truck. So people can come in here and grab a beer, get some food. We're also going to have some pre-made plates, so you know, meat and cheese, pretzels, chips, things like that. So really fun space, grab a beer and hang out. All right, well, we're looking forward to it. Thank you. We'll be back in July to see the unveiling of the new Carl Strauss tasting room and beer garden. Cheers. So the normal version of Rec Alley is sort of considered a double imperial oatmeal stout. Okay. Um, the one we're having today was actually made in the firkin with um, oak chips that were, let's call it sanitized with uh, Kahlua. Okay. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, it's, you know, we, we don't pour Kahlua directly in, but the oak chips themselves yeah. might contain uh, some bacteria that could spoil the beer, so we we soak them in Kahlua and uh, sanitize them. And then we put the oak chips directly in with the beer and let it sit there for a little while. Um, just during the normal making of this beer, we add a lot of uh, coffee and cocoa nibs to the bright tank. Okay. Uh, to the tune of a half pound per barrel of each. Wow. So it's quite a bit. So this beer is, is typically already full of chocolate and coffee flavor. The Kahlua just adds a different dimension to it. Yeah. Kind of really takes the, the coffee thing and adds a little more punch. Yeah, you get that right up front. Chocolate, chocolate it's kind of boozy tasting, but it's not real boozy. Yeah. Yeah. It really doesn't pick up much alcohol. Yeah. Process. Now, it I tastes noticed, like there's a lot in there. Right. I noticed you used Ethiopian coffee. Is there a reason why you selected that? Or we, we paired up with the coffee roaster over at Bird Rock uh, Coffee Roaster here in La Jolla. And uh, he's got a small coffee shop there that is his coffee is has won international awards. He's, he's such a great coffee roaster, and he's not very well known in the city of San Diego. But uh, we found out about some of these awards that he's won, and we said, "Heck, he's right here in our backyard. We got to pair up with this guy." So we approached him and said, "We'd love to brew a beer around your coffee." And what we had in mind is something very chocolatey, very thick, and you know, creamy and flavorful. And we would like a coffee that's kind of slightly nutty, doesn't have a sharp, acrid, or astringent finish. Um, can you work with us on this? And he came back about a week later with uh, a couple different varieties. Um, Ethiopian was one of them. We told him we wanted the roast to be mild, so it comes across nutty and earthy. And uh, when we tasted the Ethiopian blend that he made, it was, we, we knew right off the bat this is really what we want. This is perfect. Well, it worked so, great at that. I mean, the finish is just... Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. We, we 
buy about 80, 80 pounds a month, <laughs> which is quite a bit. Uh, but we think it's worth it. We love the way that this coffee works with our beer and vice versa. I guess. Okay. Now, one last question is Rec Alley available in stores or is it just a limited? Uh, we brew it year round in uh, bottles and drinks. So with the bottles, it goes into the big 22 ounce bottles, and it's it'll you know a lot of your Bevmo can be some of those kind of stores. We're still working on getting it into the Vons and Ralphs and large chain grocery stores. The draft is available in our own restaurants year round, as well as some of the other bars and restaurants, Hamilton's, Coronado, places like that. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Cheers.